Good evening, God's people. We welcome you this evening to stay connected. I have a few scriptures that I would like to read. Sometimes in life, perhaps we feel empty. Sometimes we feel like we try real hard and we don't get nowhere. But there's a beautiful scripture, a promise, and a foundation that Jesus Christ gives. And we all know that, that verse real, really well from our hearts. It's probably one of the most quoted ones all over the world. And I've heard many testimonies that uh, people can save by reading this verse. And I would like to read it to you. It's in the Gospel of John, chapter 3, verse 16. It says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. That is, that is powerful. Love. God is love. He sent His Son Jesus Christ into this planet, fallen world that we live in. You know, it, it amazes me the love of God that He has for us, for all of us. You know, God created all the universe, all the galaxies, I'm not too sure in numbers, but I've heard there's probably millions of galaxies and, and so forth forth out in out in the atmosphere, out in the uh, and uh, of all those planets that are out there, God shows the earth where humanity lives. He delighted his love to come to this earth. For God so loved the world, and Jesus Christ was willing to leave home, heaven, and to come to this planet. It just amazes me. He could have chose Mars or the moon or, or somewhere else, but he showed this planet where you and I live. He delighted. He was willing to come to this fallen earth so that he could visit us. He could have communion with you, with me. And you know, we could uh, just uh, meditate on that. For God didn't say, for God so loved the world and did nothing about it, but there was such a big action behind love. And you know, God desires that from us. You know, we use love. We tell almost people in the church, our families, relatives, I love you. <clears throat> and uh, sometimes we use that out of context because in reality, we just say it, but do we really mean it? Like God, God meant it. His son, Jesus Christ was willing to come to a perfect world of righteous people? No, to a fallen world. You, you can look at yourself in the condition that you were in and where Jesus Christ took you out of. Now that's love. You know, I always look back at my life. I never was a person that I am today. And I still have a lot of flaws. I'm not perfect. I falter just like everyone else in, in this planet. Sometimes I'm doing well, and before I know it, I, something happens. But you know, God still loves me. He says in, in uh, Psalms 27.10, He says, even when our parents have forsaken us or, or not able to be there for us, He says, I will always be your father. Oh man, how awesome that is. Because you know, we, 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 we live in this flesh. We make mistakes. 
we say things that we should not say, and then we regret it, and we have to repent and move on again. But that's a good thing, that we can repent. You know, Joseph, when he was sold by his brothers, he could have very easily ex executed them, but he chose to forgive his brothers. Joseph is a picture of Jesus Christ. Jesus is always willing to help us out. When, it, when we fall, he doesn't point the finger like us. He, the Bible says he will lift us up and he brushes us up. And okay, mijo, okay, mija, move on. I forgive you because we're human. The Bible says, as I read in, in, in John 3, 16, the, the next verse says, For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that through uh, the world through him might be saved. He who believes in him is not condemned, but he who does not believe is condemned already because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. So brothers, Jesus didn't come into the world to condemn us. He loves us. He wants us to be saved. He wants us to love him. He delights in us and we need to delight in his love because his love is perfect. Our sometimes is shaky. Even though we mean it as much as we want to, but sometimes we falter. But Jesus will never fault. He will always be a perfect God, a holy God. So another truth to this matter, if you're listening, this message is for, for the people of the Rock Church. Maybe there's families listening that have never heard about Christ. And you're listening to this message about God is love. So that sounds pretty good. Yeah, it is good if you're saved. Because God's love, when he comes up to us, he changes us. So don't think just because God loves me, I'm automatically be, going to be in heaven. No, we have to make a choice. And that choice is to repent from our sins. That's why Christ came into the world, to forgive our sins, to have fellowship with you and I. Just like God had fellowship with Adam and Eve, and when they fell in sin, they said that they were looking for fake leaves to hide their shame. And that's the way we are. But you know what? God will not condemn us. If Adam would have confessed instantly what he had done, I'm not too sure what would have happened after that, but I'm sure that God would have forgiven him because I know who I was and you know who you are in the condition that we were living in and God's love changed our lives. We're not the same anymore, not because we're living by the law of the commandments of God, simply by his grace and mercy and love that he has for humanity. Because without God, humanity is very dangerous. I'd rather trust in a God that I don't see. I'd rather trust in him because I know that he's a loving God. I know that he wants the best for me, for my wife, for my children, for my grandchildren. And that's what I'd rather choose to walk after him. And I, I confess sometimes it's very hard, but it is possible. And the other way we show love to God is loving one another. In uh, 1 John chapter 4, it says, um, starting with verse 9, it says, and this, the love of God was manifested towards us that God sent his only begotten son 
into the world that we might live through him. And this is love, not that we love God, but that God loved us and sent his, his son to be the preparation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, also we ought to love one another. So God demonstrated his love. So also we need to put that in our lives, to love the brethren. Jesus told his disciples, he said, he said, uh, pray for your enemies, pray for your enemies and love your enemies. And that's a hard one. But if we have God's love and understand his love, we can do what he asks us to do. And I just wanted to encourage, if you're feeling tired, if you're feeling unwanted, sometimes we feel like that. Remember, God is with you. He loves you. He demonstrated that in the cross of Calvary. What, what a love we have. So look to him in the Bible and through prayer. And this is what I wanted to share with you tonight, that God loves us. May God bless you. May God meet your needs. May God prosper you, give you rest. Jesus said, come unto me, all you that are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Come to the waters, come to Jesus Christ. God bless you.